Hi up and welcome to another restrap instructional how-to video. Uh, no guessing what we're doing today, panniers. Yeah, have a little look at how they attach to the bike, uh, how to choose between the two that we have uh, and all the features that, that are involved as well. As you can see, we've got two different sizes, we've got a small and a large. Features wise, they're absolutely identical. The large is 22 litres, the small is 13 litres. If you're trying to decide which you want to get, then obviously if you think you're gonna to need to carry more, large is better. But also worth bearing in mind, the small is probably slightly better if you're planning on running the pannier at the front of the bike, just because it's got slightly more clearance above the ground. So looking at the features, first of all, as with a lot of restrap stuff, we've got a roll top closure, which is 100% waterproof. And then super easy access into a nice big volume there. Roll that back up. And really simple clips there with a little adjustment strap there to, to take in any slack. And while we're here, as you can see, we've just got reflective covering there and also a clip for a light as well if you want to attach one there. And obviously the same on the other side. The attachment system is absolutely identical between both of the panniers as well. These clips fit onto the rail. Um, got a couple of little screws here, which mean that these will slide along the rail so you can make sure they fit your rack perfectly. These are designed for up to a 16 mil diameter rack, which to be honest is essentially every single rack that you're likely to find on the market. And what we also have, and I'll show you how to attach this later, is a clip that sits on this rail, which just stops the, the pannier from bouncing up and down once it's actually attached. So setting up the panniers for the first time, when you get it, these clips will be able to move along the bar there. Best thing to do is marry it up to your rack. Just make sure that they are roughly gonna be in the right place, which they are here. Phillips head screwdriver and tighten up each of these bolts. So when it comes to attaching the pannier onto the rack, drop it in place, press each of these two red buttons down, drop them there, and that's now locked solid. They can't go anywhere, can't lift those off at all without pressing in, removing. Now with the clips alone, then there's a risk that the pannier will, will bounce around a little bit. So we attach this hook, a little slider fits onto the rails there. And then this drops in place and screw that in place. But before doing that, then again, marry the bag up to the rack, work out where the best place for this to sit is. It can slide along, it can face the other way, it can even face at an angle depending on the size and the dimensions of your own bag and pannier rack. And then this is self-tapping screw, so it, will, it screws directly into this plastic and can fit literally anywhere at all. And then simply screw that in place. 